Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. Today we're going to be making three cards showing the versatility of this Merriest Moments bundle that's in the new holiday mini, the July through December mini catalog. We still call it the holiday I'm in our little circles, don't we? And it's on page 43. And sometimes when you look at the pictures in the catalog, you just really can't wrap your head around exactly what amazing things is this bundle going to do. But this is one of the hybrid embossing folders that actually can emboss and die cut. And I'm going to show you on three different cards what we can do with this amazing stamp set. I mean, this has some beautiful stamped images in here. You've got these big uh, sentiments here with the lovely font, and then you've got a smaller one with the season's greetings and joy, and then you've got all these different leaves here, and you've got some sprinkles, and you've got some berries, and you've got some holly, and so I chose to do a little non-traditional, beautiful soft colors with the soft sea foam, and then a pop of this new polished pink, and we're gonna be using white as our neutral on there. So we're gonna make three cards using this beautiful color palette, and let's get started. Okay, first thing I wanna show you here is this embossing folder. Isn't this beautiful? It creates some lovely embossing, and I'm gonna show you the dies as well. So this comes bundled. These are the merriest frames dies, but this is bundled together. So you can't get this separate or these separate. It all comes in a bundle, which is very good price for $54 US. So here we go. We're going to pull out these dies. As you can see, there are a ton of dies. So you've got dies to cut out the berries and all of the all of the leaves and the flowers and a couple extraneous poinsettias there with just like the openness there. And you've got this big die here, okay? And this is gonna be really cool to use. Now, on the three cards we're gonna make, we're gonna do three different things using the embossing folder and the dies. Now, the first card we're gonna do, and notice I'm not showing you the cards yet because we are going to build them right here. So you can simply do your traditional embossing. You're just going to put a piece of cardstock in there and you're going to just run it through your big shot. And then you're gonna come out with just a lovely embossed panel. And this panel we're going to put on our first card. So you can see that deep embossing there with the holly and the different leaves. And these, these um, impressions here match I mean, not match like you can't stamp in them, but they actually mimic the stamped images in there. So where did I put that? Um, where did I put, oh, here. So you can kind of see we've got some feathery ones and we've got this really neat oval one and we've got the holly there. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so the first card we're gonna be doing is going to be using this embossed panel, just simply embossed, just like we traditionally do. Now I'm gonna set that aside right now. Now the other amazing thing that you can do is you can run this through your embossing folder, but you can actually cut it out and emboss it at the same time. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do that. This big die here that's in the set here, it fits into Hope I'm doing it the wrong way. So look on the side that has the word Stampin' Up and then open it up and then this, okay, this is always the crazy part what I'm trying to do. You'll see that it fits in there. So you can see that when I'm moving it with my fingers, it's actually, it has like a groove that it falls into. So what you do is you put that into, now, Notice it's only gonna fit one way, but it's on, you see the word stamping up, that would be the front of your embossing folder. You open it up and then you can see the dial fit right along that embossed image. And it also has the die cutting side up. Then all you're going to do is put your piece of white and actually I think that's going to fit. Yeah. Okie doke. And then we are just going to, oh, no, you know what? I wasn't, I was using, I was, oh, that's our second card, okay. 
this is our next card here. So what I'm gonna do is show you how we're, we can go ahead and put, now when I do this one, um, I make it a little bit bigger so it matches the length of the embossing folder. So I made it four and a quarter by a little, like almost six inches. And then we're gonna put that in to our embossing folder. And then we're going to just use a sandwich in our stamping and cut and emboss machine. We're just gonna use plate one. We're gonna take out that thin plate there because we're embossing. We're going to put down our embossing folder with the die in it and the cardstock. And then we're gonna use our gray plate. I just happen to be having my purple plate here, but they're the same depth. And then you're going to run that through your stamp and cut and emboss machine. Now, when you do that, you're gonna notice really amazing here. <gasps> Look at that. It not only gave a really nice deep emboss, but then you just pull off this little piece here and look at that. You've got perfectly cut and embossed at the same time. Now we're gonna be using this on our second card. So I'm going to, but before we do that, I'm gonna show you another little trick that you can do with this. Okay, so remember, we have a card that we can just emboss and put on the front of a card. Then we can also use this piece that we put with the die, but there's also another fun die that's in this set. And it's this very intricate die here. Now this die does not fit in this embossing folder. It does not fit. You will cut this first, easily put that in there with the die inside here. So you've got the die inside here and you've just put your, did I do it right? There we go. Ah, I did it again. I do this every time. Okay, it falls into place. There we go. It's into its place. So all we did was remember we put a piece of cardstock in and we came out with this. Now the next thing you can do with this card, so we've got that one. I was trying to figure out how to not confuse you, but it's just so exciting. This will actually fit right into here. Okay, so this embossed and die cut piece that we ran through the embossing folder. You can put this on top of it, okay? And you can run it through your Big Shot. And when you run it through your Big Shot, now this one is gonna be on our card, but when you run it through the Big Shot, well, let me see here. How can I make this easier for you to see? I'm gonna bring out this pink here. And you can see all these little pieces fall out here. So when you put this, over here, and I think we should just do it. I just forgot my plate for my, so we'll just do it real quick here. I'll show you how fun that is. So we're just gonna bring out our plates here. I need a table about as big as a football field when I'm doing a video. So you're just gonna come back with your, your um, die cutting and you'll have plate one, plate two, and then you have an acrylic plate three, and then we're just gonna throw this onto our, and this fits in there very easily too. It's a nice tight fit there. We're gonna put that onto our acrylic plate, put another acrylic plate on top, and run that through our stamp and cut and emboss machine, or whatever die cut machine you're using. And let me show you how fun this is. So then this die just comes right off of here. Now you'll see here, I'm going to grab my take your pick tool. There's a little fine piece that comes out of here around. I'm gonna get this ugly acrylic plate out of there. They work hard for us, but they get kind of yucky looking. So you're just pulling this piece out of here. I suppose if you were really obsessive about using every scrap. You could actually put this around another color. It would look pretty cool. And so you just pull off all of this little intricate here. And then there's a little piece here that comes out. And let's just throw that up there. And then there's a couple little places. Just make sure they all came out. And so there is your third way that you can use that hybrid 
we have that other all art and bloom stamp set. I haven't used it yet, but now that I use this, I know how to. <laughs> so you've got now this really pretty green here. And I'm gonna actually be doing some fun things with this. So look at this. You can make a card with the embossed panel. You can make a card with just this big piece. And then you can also make a card with the piece that's die cut out. Is that cool or what? Okay, so what we're gonna do is get all of these cards put back together because we are going to make some fun cards. Okay, so let's put this die away. Okay, oh, and there's one other die here in this set and this is nice little square that you can use for anything, but it cuts out a sweet, where do I have it? It cuts out a sweet rectangle. Now this was a little blunder here, but that fits right into this frame on that embossing folder. So that's pretty cool. And you know you can use that in many other places too. So you've got all of these great dies and the merriest dies, merriest frames, and I'm gonna actually put them away so that they do not get lost because there are a lot of them this cool die here. I kind of played around with it thinking, how am I gonna cut this out? And then I realized, oh, it goes right into the embossing folder. So I'm gonna just put that in there so that I can put that away. Look at all those images again. Oh, and this embossing folder, just gorgeous. Okay, so let's set this aside here and let's work on our first card. So I showed you all the images here that you can stamp. And of course, what I did for this video is I went ahead and I did all my die cutting first. Okay, so what I did for this card, I did trim this down a tiny, tiny little bit because I was a little tiny crooked, but what you're, we're gonna do is just, we're gonna mount that right onto the front of our card. Now I know some people will take their card and actually run the front panel, but sometimes it gets loses a little bit of its um, uh, integrity and it's a little floppy. So I'm just going to put and actually, in this light, I'm almost wondering if um, if I'm using a basic and a whisper because they look like they have a little bit different color. And look at my glue on there, too. So we're just going to put that onto the front of the card. And it's just the same size. It was a little tricky getting my square to not be off a little bit, but I finally... I did like two or three of them until I got that. So there we go. We have a nice front of our card embossed with just simply running it through the embossing folder. And then what I did is I stamped together is the merriest place to be. Now you can pop this up off of the card and I think we could do that. So let's go ahead and pop that up with some dimensionals. And the dimensionals were laying right over here for easy access for me. I'm going to go ahead and pop it up. But it looks just as pretty just laying flat. But when you have that opportunity to pop something up, why not? Okay, so we're going to just get these little guys off of here. Thanks for cooperating dimensionals. And then we're going to just put that into... Stamping on my tippy toes. I'm gonna put that right in the middle of that frame, okay? And then what I did is I just put a dimensional in between these two flowers on the poinsettia. And then I'm going to put some glue on the back of this. Because I popped that up, I wanna kinda get it right on the card so it can there. And then I just use these cute little um, kind of like overly, I'm not sure exactly what um, foliage that's called, but I just love all the greenery at Christmas time and all the greenery that's always um, kind of tucked in when you get a flower arrangement. I wish I knew all the names of those. So we're just going to pop in and look how pretty that soft sea foam looks with the polished pink. Hi got a little fuzz there and then we're going to put one so that it stays on the card okay get it so we can see the words so we've got some pink and some green 
and then we're gonna throw on some pearls. Now, I have to tell you, when these beaded pearls went out of, went into retirement, look at those. Do those look beautiful? But I may send, may actually save these one extra ones I bought for that bigger poinsettia we have. But what we're gonna do is just put some pearls and we're just gonna use three of these medium sized pearls here. Well, actually, I guess they're all the same size here. I'm still a lot of times working with my old pearls that I had. And we're just gonna put three pearls there. But those, um, if you have any of those other ones laying around, they're gorgeous. So I loved using that white because the white and the white of the card and just super simple. Now, one thing um, I didn't try on this card, but look at this really neat, um, kind of splatter here. That would have been pretty to put a little splatter on here, but I was just getting this done and I just didn't go the extra mile, but that little splatter would look really cute on this card too. Okay, so that is the first card we can make with just using the plain embossing folder, putting it onto the front. So we're gonna sit that little girl aside. Notice I called her a girl because she's so pink and pretty. So the next one we did was this one, all we did was stick the die into the embossing folder and put our paper on top and ran it through and we got this big, beautiful, deeply embossed panel here. And then I just used a polished pink and I'm just going to put that on and have that pink pop out from the back. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back of here. Oh, this is such a, I'm, I mean, I looked at it and I knew it would be great for making Christmas cards nice and quick because it has a, a big um, die in it. Little did I know how gorgeous it really was. So we're just going to get that so that it's all on the card. It just fits on our A2 size cards. So, but when you put these into the envelope, you kind of want to have your square, your rectangle in the middle. Make sure it's straight on your card. So it might, there we go. And then I have my little cheat bag here and I, oh wait, this is, oh, my card is actually going this way. Okay, <laughs> I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense the way I stamped that. Yeah, I'm making it into a portrait card. So on this pink one, I did the same thing I did with the flowers, I just put a dimensional in between them. This time I did these little holly berries here. I mean, holly leaves, you have three holly leaves there. I did the holly leaves and then I used the super pretty font here, thinking of you this festive season and it's going to go right in the middle there. And why not go ahead and pop that up as well? As long as we have enough dimensionals here, haha, <laughs> we do. Because remember, you always have those edges to use on your dimensionals as well. So we're gonna pop those backs off. I literally found one of these backs on the back porch. I was walking out there and I saw it. And I'm like, they go everywhere on the bottom of my feet. Okay, so we're gonna put that right in the middle of that frame and look how nice that white pops off of the soft sea foam that pops off of that polished pink. Now I stamped this down towards the bottom so that I could put my flower here up at the top. So we're just gonna put some glue on the back of our poinsettia and we're going to just kind of put it right up there in the right corner and then I'm always with my holly berries. I'm always trying to, are the holly leaves, which way do they go? Okay, so we're gonna tuck those in as well. And since I have a little more white space here, I'm gonna pop that under there and have that peeking out there. And then put some glue on this one. And Pop that there, maybe pop this a little bit so you can see the stitching there. I think if I did it again, I'd make them both the same size, but I wanted to show you how big that one was. Okay, and once again, we're just gonna, you know, 
like I said, if you have these, these would look, if you have any of these left, those would look super pretty on there. But I might not have enough to do a ton of them. So, so here we go. We're just gonna throw some more pearls on there, just like we did on the other one. Three of these pearls right there. Just put a cluster there. You could also put one of the bigger ones. I'm just kind of, oh, I lost a pearl along the way. Oh, another thing too, I was going to bed last night and I was like, oh, oh my foot, something on my foot. And I'm like, pearl on the bottom of my foot. Maybe that's because I was playing with this set last night. <laughs> so there we go, some a cluster of pearls there and we've got our second card. So here we go. We've got two cards there using the polished pink soft sea foam. And then the last card we're gonna make, we're going to be using soft sea foam as our base. And this time we took this, the die that was on here, the die that cut this out. And remember we took and put that other die, this intricate die here, we just, now what you're gonna have to do is you have to run this through the embossing folder with the metal frame in it. You run it through, then you take it and put that die on it. This die here does not go into the embossing folder, okay? But the cute thing that Stamping Up did, which is really cool, is that it's embossed, but when you put that die on it and send it through your embossing machine, it doesn't smush anything. Hmm, so that's pretty cool. So you could literally put tone on tone because we have this extra one here, but I was adding some white on here and I thought the white foliage looked really pretty on here. So this one here is a landscape card. And then I'm wondering, do I wanna have, I think I wanna have, there's a little bit more foliage up here. So I'm gonna put that on this way. And here we go, we're just gonna get some glue on the back here and then just put some glue on some of these leaves here. Just put a little glue where these leaves are. Now, aren't we glad that we, well, actually I did a little research too, figuring out exactly what you could do with this, but it is super cool. I have to say, it makes me really wanna to get to work and play around with. I'm trying to make this straight. So on both sides and we'll just hold it down a little pressure so that that glue gets a good seal there to adhere there okay and then we're just going to get our little pre-stamped there we go and this time I put my sentiment up here in this corner and then I'm just going to get some dimensionals and put those dimensionals on our one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're just gonna grab those backs off of there. And we're gonna have that up in the top corner there and this is just white on white you've added your pink with your soft sea foam and then I guess this is the card I was going to show you how I put together the the poinsettia but I actually didn't so you kind of just get one you just take the small one and then you play around with how the flower petals go so there we go and we're just going to pop that down here in the corner so that we can see the sentiment. And then we have this beautiful pine here. You know, I played around with colors. I had actually wanted to do just jade on here. And it did look pretty with the polished pink and the, the polished pink, but I wanted something just a little softer. So I went ahead and got out the soft sea foam. 
And then what is our next thing, kids? We are going to add our pearls. Okay. Ah. They're just popping around here for me. There we go. One. Two. And then our third to do our little cluster there. Pick it up. Pop you back. You are supposed to be right there, a little pearly. Okay. That's a name you don't hear very much anymore. Pearl. Pearl. That's a pretty name. Okay, so there we go. We have our third card. So using these different floral images here and these um, foliage ones, we could make three different cards. So here we go. Let's take a look at them. The first one we made... All we did was run it through the embossing folder. The next one, we ran the, the soft sea foam through. We looked at the word Stampin' Up. We opened up our embossing folder. Oop, here we go. That pops right in here. There you go. Once it pops in, your it pops in, and then we just put, now of course we use soft sea foam, but what you would just do is you would cover this up, run it through, close it, run it through, and we got this nice big die cut here, and it has all that deep embossing on it. And then the next thing we did is we took that image that we had cut out of here, so this had come out of here, then what we did was we put this little die, not little, big die, directly on top. Now I want to show you one more time how we did that. I'm going to grab something off my here. When I was playing around with the Just Jade, um, I had a piece of this. But what we did here with this one is once you die cut this big piece with the die inside the embossing folder, we just came back and we put this directly on top, directly on top, ran this through our embossing machine, just like we would die cut any image, die cut out any image or shape that we have. And then it pops out and you end up, see the difference between these two pieces here. You've got all this intricate pieces around here. So this is a super amazing set. I mean, I thought to myself, well, do I need another? Oh, and then you have this really cute die there. I thought to myself, do I need another poinsettia? And I'm like, well, it's really not a poinsettia set, poinsettia, the, however you say that. It's really not a poinsettia set. It has a poinsettia in it, but really this could be anything. You could put a snowman in here. You could put the little penguin in here. You could put any image inside here. And also, recall too, you don't have to put that little white stitched frame in there either. You could have this and directly stamp right on here. But of course, who wouldn't want to pop up that pretty stitched frame? But so many different things you could do with different colors. And look how we did green leaves. We did white leaves. Here, this could have been a really pretty one too. I I'm still like on the fence about the, the jade, but I really like the uh, soft sea foam there. So there we go again. Emboss it, cut it out, and cut it out again. You've got three different cards using the Merriest Moments bundle that comes with the Merriest Frames. And this is the die that comes in it with the embossing folder. But as I said, again, you can't buy the embossing folder separately. But this is a fantastic deal getting all three of these with all the dies and all the images and this really neat hybrid technique that you can use with these embossing folders. You can get it for $54. And when you do the $54 during celebration, which starts August 3rd and runs through the end of September, you are actually going to be able to pick a free gift with a $50 purchase or a $100 purchase. So this will qualify for a celebration item. And there are some 
fun stuff in that celebration brochure. So I'm looking forward to you guys being able to order on August 3rd. I know a lot of people are so excited about all the new products in the new holiday mini catalog. And I have to tell you, this is, oh, I think I might just put this one over here. Doesn't that just look so pretty there? Oh, I love it. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at 724-323-2296. You can also email me at cindyleeb at gmail.com. I love hearing from you. And also all the colors and the measurements and the products I use will be on my blog, cindyleebdesigns.com, right underneath the YouTube description, there's visit my blog here, press that link, it'll take you right over to my blog, cindyleebdesigns.com, and also in the YouTube description, I will have links to my online store, and also the measurements there too. Thanks for buzzing by, friends.